Okay, so I just need to release this, and this is going to be somewhat of a vulnerable post. But as we're in this moment of transition, we're, we're moving into a new season. We're going to be moving into opportunity, open doors, new cities for many people, just new all the way around. And we're kind of in transit right now, but as we've been hearing these words, if you're anything like me, when you hear about blessing and all of these different things, you start to feel unworthy, you start to feel shame. And when I receive news of opportunity and these blessings and things are starting to shift in my, shift in my life, but it triggers shame. It, it takes my mind back to decisions and, and choices I've made in my past that I'm not proud of. So it brings up regret and shame. But the Lord led me to this, this scripture in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 7. And it says, instead of shame, you will receive a double portion. Instead of humiliation, they will rejo rejoice over the land they receive. Yes, they will receive and possess a double portion in their land and experience lasting joy. I will repay them because of my faithfulness, says the Lord. And this season, hear me, this season that you're stepping into, these blessings that you're getting ready to hold is about his goodness and not about your consistency. You are not receiving this, nor do you have to sustain this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are not receiving this, nor will you sustain this because of your perfection and because of your obedience. It's because of his faithfulness. And there's a scripture in my spirit, spirit, it is the goodness or kindness of God that leads us to repentance. This blessing is also a part of your transformation. It's not just a reward. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. This, this blessing that you're getting ready to hold is not just a, a fruit of your obedience. It's also a part of your healing. It's also a part of your transformation. The Lord wants to give you these things to help you continue this path of healing. It's not a product of your healing. It's not just a product of your healing. Yes, there's many things that you've done that have led up to this moment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But this is a part of your healing. This is a part of his love and his goodness towards your life. So receive this and take your eyes off of yourself and your actions and what you have done and what you don't do, but put your eyes on God because what he's getting ready to do in your life, this double portion instead of shame is because of him. So just take, your pre take the pressure off and put, put the pressure on the Lord and just receive the blessings from him. I love you.